retningens åndelige leder, kalder man handlingens mand på tibetansk karmapa. Ifølge de troende er han blevet reinkarneret 16 gange, siden han levede første gang i det 12. århundrede. Men i 1980'erne opstod der uenighed om, hvem der er nummer 17 i rækken, for to mænd siger begge, at de er reinkarnationen. En af de to er den 21-årige Thaye Dodge, som netop har besøgt Danmark. Da han var bare halvandet år gammel, meddelte han verden, at det er ham, der er den 17. karmapa, yogiernes konge, handlingens mand. When you were one and a half years old, you told your parents that you were the incarnation of the Kamapa. Yes. Can you recall what that was like, that realization? Um, I think at that time I did say that, yes, to my parents, especially my mom was there. And also the uh, sister of, uh, the, of my predecessor right. was also there. It was at her house, at her apartment. Mm -hmm. And, um, but of course now, It's been now, let's see, not after 20 years or 19 years. It's been a long time, so. Sure. Yes. So it's quite vague. Have you, have you ever doubted it? Have you ever said, uh, I'm not sure, I am the incarnation, I don't want to be the incarnation? Is that a, a, an option, a possibility? Have you ever, have you ever been tempted to do that? Um, in, actually, it's sort of not much of a possibility, I think. Right. It's, yes. But, um, Sort of like, sort of, from the first uh, incarnation of, of Kamapa, from the moment, um, Manasim sort of, sort of made a promise and made a wish that uh, we'll continue the activity, right, to reach life. Yeah. So in that way, there's not much going back. No. Yes. No. But uh, mm, no, actually, I don't. I haven't really have felt that much of a doubt. No. No, it just felt quite natural. Right. Yeah. Now. You're traveling all over the West and visiting with people who are Buddhists, who are interested yes. in becoming Buddhists, who have just heard about it. What is the first question that everybody asks about Buddhism? Um, I guess mostly they ask about the quality of, of, of uh, Buddhism. Right. Yes, so, which is, of course, um, not causing any harm yeah. by practicing or uh, using Dharma. That's, I think, here. Using Dharma? Yes. Right, to explain to us the concept of Dharma. Yes. Well, Dharma, of course, it, just, uh, it is simply a method. Right. Uh, to uh, sort of bring out or to, um, a way to express one's, uh, one's uh, very own nature of everything. Yeah. Yes. So it is, uh, of course, in this, um, I would say, um, time of uh, the Buddha, Buddha Chakyamuni. Mm -hmm. um, who is the one, who yes. is the Buddha for our... Who, who brought Dharma yeah. um, uh, to this world. Um, was uh, simply a teaching and a method to, uh, to realize the uh, nature of everything. Yeah. Yes. Would you call Buddhism a religion, a philosophy, what is it? Mm, actually, f first of all, Like when Buddhist, uh, Buddhism first um, uh, came out from in, uh, from Tibet and then into uh, into the West like that, um, mm -hmm. I think during that time it was very new. So for that reason, it was uh, difficult to, to translate um, what is Buddhism, right? And in that way, I think there were times that uh, religion was used mm -hmm. because in some ways it seems like that. Yeah, but. Actually, it is not a, not a religion. Why not? Why isn't it a religion? Because you see, it's um, this uh, religion. Um, of course, you know, my English isn't perfect, but sure. uh, religion, from what I, what I understood, was that it, it is about uh, it is a way to link between one's uh, oneself and uh, and to the God, right? Yes, sure. sure. Yes, and in, in Buddhism, there's no such thing. No, it's just our minds. And so this is, I guess, is one of the things that's difficult for Westerners to understand. Because yes. when you come with a Christian background or knowledge of a Christ, the Christianity as a religion, mm -hmm. you sort of seem to search for God. Yes. And so this is why people come to believe that Buddha yes. uh, was a God. But he wasn't, was he? No, he wasn't. No. No, no. Um, he was simply um, a teacher, a, a, someone who showed us, um, showed, uh, showed us uh, the way to um, awake one's uh, sort of mind, uh -huh. yes, because everything that we see um, in, this, um, in this time, the th things that we feel, the we what we hear, 
everything is just sort of more or less an illusion. Yeah. Yes, so it's just a way to sort of, a, you know, to tap and then to get, to wake up. Sure. In each era, uh, there, are, there, there is a Buddha. Yeah. Sort of uh, like the main figure who will sh show us uh, the way. Of course, um, uh, in truth, actually, almost every one of us uh, are searching the same, uh, that uh, very own goal. Right. Yes. We can all become Buddhas? Yes, we all. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the reason for that is that so we have the, uh, what we call is um, Buddha nature. Yes. Um, not just human beings, but uh, every sentient being. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dogs, cats, flies, or butterflies. Are there people who can never benefit from Buddhism and who can't come out of it with anything? Who simply aren't suited for it? Or is everybody suited for it and just... Um, it depends, you see. Um, depends on one's karma. Mm -hmm. uh, for some, it might be very... Uh, for them... Uh, they would like to uh, practice Dharma or how to use, to use Dharma. But right. for some, maybe it, it isn't that easy. Right. It may, it may take uh, days, years, or even another life. Right, yes. And so how long, I know this is one of the issues of, of, of contention, one of the things that's being discussed within Buddhism, how long does it take uh -huh. to become a Buddha, to achieve Buddhahood? Well, uh, it depends on the methods and uh, how uh, brave one is, I think. Right, yes. how brave one is. Yeah, in, in a way, because right. uh, as we see, um, even if we're not talking about Dharma, mm -hmm. yeah, even in life, um, that's uh, simply to, to live through life, right? Mm -hmm. And to go through, it's, it's already very tough. And then uh, when you practice Dharma, uh, using that as a method, of course, in some ways, it, it makes everything much easier. You see things much, much more different. But in some ways, it is a heavy burden. Right. Such as, like, if you take um, a promise that uh, one will help all sentient beings, mm -hmm. yes, that uh, one will not give up, not, not even for not even, not even for one. Mm -hmm. So, of course, um, it is a great attention and a great act. Yeah. But uh, once you're doing it, it, it slowly, slowly becomes a heavy, heavy burden. Right. It's it heavy and heavier. And uh, as we know that. Um, uh, even if we have the right intention uh, 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 to do good things uh, for people that, you know, that you're doing, for them it, it might be very different. For them, it might be for, uh, for that very instant or for that very moment, it might not be a help. Mm -hmm. it might be a bigger fuss. Right. Yeah, so that's why it is difficult. Right now, in English, the word that is often used is suffering yes. when talking about sort of yes. the problems that people have. In Tibetan, it's different. In Tibetan, we call it uh, Dungal. Dungal? Yes, Dungal. And, and what is that? Well, it's, it's a result uh, caused by... Um, caused by... how do I say... caused by uh, emotions such as... Uh, um, anger, um, being... in some ways, uh, ignorance. Yeah. I think that's the word in English. And uh, actually... We, um, in Buddhism, we call it uh, the three poisons. Right. Yes. So the first is uh, the desire, in terms of decha, and then anger, shadang, and then timuk, which is um, being in ignorant. Right. Uh -huh. Would that be the first thing I have to do? Is to become aware of of the suffering? Yes. Um, it's uh, one of the qualities right. of, of Buddhism. Yes. But first of all, I think. Um, the most important thing would be that, of course, that we all want, um, you know, it, it's very general, that uh, we all want uh, happiness, right? Yeah. And so we, we don't want suffering at all. But then, uh, um, mostly artists are sort of, we're mistaken, uh, what is happiness and what is suffering? And, uh, which is uh, through being, you know, not, not aware, and having a lot of, you know, being, being very much ignorant. And then that naturally causes desire to, to want things, to have things. Yeah. Yes, to want uh, anything. Um, first of all, to live, and then fame, and so on. Fame? What's wrong with fame? Uh, you see, it, it's, it's still, it's, it's more of a greed that, you know, we want some things, right? As long as we're living uh, as a uh, regular life, we all uh, want things. 
and uh, that uh, if we don't know how to control it, if we uh, we're not, not aware of its limits, right, then it causes trouble. It causes so, suffering. So to, just to get it absolutely straight, yes. the the reason that we are suffering and the we reason we are unhappy is that we want things, we desire things. Yes. Uh, fame and fortune and yes. happiness and yes. so forth. Yes. Uh, we don't realize that we can only grasp them for a brief while. Yes, and they were just a sort of, um, yes, for a brief while. And just uh, simply thinking that um, this is a once in a, in a lifetime opportunity. Sure. Yes. So therefore I would do anything to get it. Right. You know? And then that causes a lot of trouble. So we see something and we say, right, if only I get that, yes. I shall be happy, I yes. shall be released. Yes, but actually we're not happy. Right. One more. And, and the point is then, of course, that we can never be happy. Yes. It's not just a matter of becoming yes. better at yes. our careers or yes. whatever. It's, it yes. all has to perish. Yes. Yes, it, it, in some way or another, it will perish. Right. Yes. As long as we see things um, very different from one another. Sure. Yes. The biggest problem for all of us, I guess, is death, of yes. course. That is yes. the one thing we all have in common. And that is also the most difficult thing to confront, isn't it? Yes. Yes, because we simply will feel that actually for the very brief moment that uh, uh, first of all we will lose everything that that uh, we have in this life, and then most importantly I will lose myself, you know, in, in a way. Right. That we think that it, we all simply go blank. Yeah. Yes. And there's no me, yeah. which is the most scary thing, I think, for for anybody. Yeah. What then? I mean, what do you tell people when they say, I'm afraid that when I die, I'm going to lose me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be here and I'm afraid of that. What yes. do you tell them? Um, of course, uh, then, f for, the, for the moment, of course, then we have to, uh, first of all, show that um, it's not just this life that, that exists, but actually, in the relative truth, we reincarnate through one's own karma. So. It depends uh, what we have done in this life or in our previous lives. That uh, we might, that's whether we will have a, a good rebirth or, or, or a bad one. Right. Yeah. And of course. Um, but when we are reborn, or when yes. we sort of when we die and we leave this life, mm -hmm. and we come back, in a sense, we are losing our sense of self, aren't we? No. Mm. Well, in the relative truth, yes. That's how we feel. Yes. yes. And that's how we are, you know, we tricked. Yeah. In some ways. But for instance, now when you are the 17th reincarnation uh -huh. of the Kamapa, yes. is, is, are you the same person? Have you been the same person throughout these hundreds of years? Are you the same being? Mm. You see, um, okay, I think I'll have to again go back to, to, to the uh, relative truth sure. in some ways. Uh, in, in the relative, relative truth, yes, actually, right. that's how it is, yes. So some things change and some things yes, of course. don't. The form has changed, yeah, definitely. But the sort of the um, stream of mind, it, it would be more or less the same. Right. Yes. And so you have access to what all your the, the previous reincarnations have thought or felt, no? Um, or some access. Yes. I mean, um, you mean like memories? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yes. Yes. Right. So memories of knowledge. Or, or sort of philosophical memories or thoughts or emotions too? Can you sort of recall specific instances from these previous lives as well? Um, uh, actually, it is possible to, to, to recall such memories, mm -hmm. yes. Actually, give, give me all the memories. But then it requires actually a lot more work. That means a lot, a lot more meditation. Sure. Yes. Sure.